Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So I am here with another video on exercise 1.3 from the number system. So okay, so today we are going to learn the first question from the exercise 1.3 into the details. So here uh, in the first question it is given as write the following in decimal form and say what kind of decimal expansion each has. So your first one to six questions have been given and we have to open this it means we have to divide this and we have to identify what type of decimal expansion it has okay so let us do this one by one so the first question is given as 36 by 100 so we need to divide 36 by 100 okay so 36 will be inside whereas 100 will be outside so 36 is the smallest number then 100 so what you need to do you need to put one zero here along with one zero and point here okay now 100 three is a 300 you are getting okay then after subtracting this you are left with 60 here Put one more zero so that it becomes 600 here. So 100, 6, 600 you are getting. So the final result will be 0, 0, 0. Okay. So you got the answer to be as 0 0.36. So the decimal expansion you can say is terminating. If you don't know what is terminating, what is non-terminating and what is recurring. So all the definition of this is already there on my channel. You can go through it or the link will be provided into the description box. If the link is not provided, then go through the playlist and you will definitely get all the videos regarding your number system. Okay. So this was about the first one. The second one is given as 1 divided by 100. Sorry, 1 divided by 11 it is given. Okay. So the same thing we have to divide the numerator which is upper here. That must be inside and the 11 must be outside. Okay. Now if you put 1 0 here then it will become 10. Again the smaller number than 11. So what you need to do is you need to put one more 0. So that it becomes 100 and now you can divide this okay now as you have put one zero you will put one zero with the point okay you have taken two zeros so what you will do is you will put one more zero here okay then 11 nine za 99 you are getting again you are left with one the the place where we have started we have reached again the in the same place again we are going to put two zeros and we are continuing 11 9 za 99 again so again we are left with one so this process will be going on so the answer you are getting is 0 0.099 which is nothing but non-terminating and recurring what is non-terminating and recurring as you can see here this 9999 will be continuing so you can write it here as it is non-terminating and recurring. Okay, recurring means this 9999 will be repeating. So, you can write it as non-terminating and recurring. Terminating here means the when the number stops at some point, it is called as terminating. Okay, this was about the second one. Now, the third one you can see it is given as 4 1 by 8. What you need to do here is you this is in the mixed fraction. You need to make it to improper fraction first. So for that what you will do is you will multiply 8 into 4. Okay denominator into the side number and later on you will add the numerator. Okay then it is divided by the same denominator which is provided. Okay so 8 4 is 32 plus 1 that is 33 divided by 8 okay so you are left with 33 divided by 8 now you are going to divide 33 by 8 okay then 8 4 is 32 you are getting okay 1 will be remaining and you will put one more 0 with a point here okay as you are taking 0 here you are not going to put a point when in the beginning you are going to take 0 then definitely you have to put 1 0 here okay next 4 2 is 8 you are getting sorry sorry not 4 2 is 8 1 is 8 you are getting okay so you are left with 2 here 
and you will take one more zero then again eight twos are you are getting sixteen what is remaining twenty minus sixteen is four again you are taking zero and here eight fives are forty you are getting so if you subtract now you are going to get the answer as zero zero so finally what you got the answer is four point one two five which is nothing but terminating okay okay now we shall move to the fourth question here which is three by thirteen okay so three by thirteen means three will be inside whereas thirteen will be outside okay so here you can see here three is the smaller number than thirteen. You need to put one zero here. Okay, yeah, when you put one zero here, you have to put a zero with a point. Then thirteen twos are twenty six. You are getting again. You are left with four here. Okay, again you are going to put one zero and thirteen threes are thirty nine. You are getting. Then again you are getting one. And when you put one zero here, which is not enough, ten you are getting ten cannot be divided by thirteen. Again, you need to put a zero, and this will go on. So you need here you are getting zero point two three. Okay, so let us divide one more here. That is thirteen seven za ninety one. Let us divide here. Okay, then again you are getting nine. So this number will go on some different 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 numbers we are getting. So we can write it as non terminating and non recurring. Okay, non terminating in the sense this is not stopping. means the division will not stop it will continue and non recurring means it is not repeating the numbers are not repeating again okay so this was about the fourth one next fifth question is 2 divided by 11 so 11 will be inside and sorry 2 will be inside okay 2 will be inside and 11 will be outside so 2 cannot be divided so let us take a zero and with zero one point okay then 11 ones are 11 so you are left with 9 20 minus 11 is 9 again one more zero we are taking and 11 eights are 88 then again 2 is remaining again we'll take a zero 11 ones are 11 again then again 9 is remaining so this will continue okay again one more zero if you take it will be 11 eights are again it will be 88 okay then again 2 will be remaining this will continue so you can see here 0.181818 and it will continue so you got the answer as 0.18 with a bar you can write bar here shows that the number is repeating okay so here you can write it as non terminating and recurring recurring means it is repeating non terminating recurring okay and the last one here that is sixth one 329 is divided by 400 so you can write 329 which is divided by 400 will be outside okay so 329 is less than 400 so you cannot divide it so you need to put one zero here okay 4 eights are 32 okay 4 eights are 32 means 32 you can write and this two zeros will be as it is okay so you are left with 90 here 90 cannot be divided by 400 so you are going to put one zero here See, I forgot to take a zero here. As we have added the zero, the question was three twenty nine divided by four hundred. So three twenty nine was not uh, able to divide by four hundred. So we have taken one zero here. So I forgot to put one point with a zero here. Okay. So here we are getting next after subtracting this, we are getting ninety minus. Okay, we are getting this ninety. Okay, and one more zero. So nine hundred. So you can write four hundred two za eight hundred. Okay, four two za eight. You are getting and two zeros will be as it is. Again, it is remainder will be hundred. Okay, hundred is remainder. 
so you can write you can put one more zero here so that it became thousand so again you can write four hundred two is a eight hundred you are getting again two hundred will be left okay then if you put put one more zero here so you can write four hundred five is a two thousand you are getting okay so you are getting the answer as zero point eight two two five which can be terminating okay which can be terminating so i hope you have understood with the first question so that's all for today's video we'll continue this exercise into my next video so till then stay tuned and stay connected don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you